December 1981, Chief Adiola Dutola's health is stable. One month after he was discharged from the hospital, UCH, he summons everyone to attend a family meeting at the family estate on Ibudo House in Jebudi. Now, it was meant to be a quiet family gathering. Suddenly, Olufumilayo Dutola, who at the time had not conspired with Oyadi Oluri to defraud and murder Chief Odutola, narrated how he had seen Oyadi Oluri practicing Papa Chief Adiola Odutola's signature. Olufumilayo Odutola's exposure of Oyadi Oluri's crime was shocking and jaw-dropping, particularly to members of the family who held her in the highest esteem. When her outward demeanor was just a facade to mask a criminal tendency, Oyadi Oluri's behavior was consistent with the conduct of a fraudulent person who had been contemplating how she would defraud Chief Odutola. Now, it was Oyadi Oluri who, two months earlier, in September 1981, was more preoccupied with getting Papa Chief Odutola to write his will when he was still admitted at the hospital. Oyadi Oluri was unable to deny the allegation. She unhesitantly left the meeting, absolutely mortified. She would not come back to Onibudo House in Jebudi for months. Oyadi Oluri did not relent. She continued to covertly practice Chief Odutola's signature. Unknown at the time, her ultimate goal was to forge Chief Odutola's signature on letters and financial instruments to lay claim to the properties belonging to the Odutola estate after his death and assert they were gifts from him. More vile, treacherous, and felonious things Oyadi Oluri eventually did. <laughs>